I like space, and, and uh, I, I, I look at space as extension of the work. Uh, space meaning the wall where the photographs are displayed, um, as the wall becomes sort of a natural frame for the work, and then it becomes a part of the space. So um, you're not looking at a picture on the wall, but rather the art piece in context of the gallery. So the, the whole space becomes um, animated, um, with the lighting and with natural lighting as much as possible and I consider the sh even the shadows that are cast of the prints by the prints on the wall are um, a part, a part of the piece as well. She'd see me right there, no doubt she's mine. The clouds in the sky look maybe clear to my eyes. One looks like a bunny. And a bunny, what they do, I shouldn't say. The fine changes along the breeze make me sneeze. I'm not too happy about it. Can we move our bodies inside? I'm a bit. That's the call the sun because the sunshine stole my baby. She said she'd see me later. No doubt she's lying. She'll walk away, a pleading baby. She wouldn't turn. With photography, I'm looking at the negative and I'm saying, well, it sort of dictated itself. Even, even though I took this photograph, I didn't create what I was taking, the photo I was taking. And I think that's the reason why, why this work is either photographs or photography-based is a very important factor. I'm not really making it. I'm not really creating anything as a painter does. I'm really I'm working from reference that already exists and like photography has a reference to something real um, and even though these images are highly manipulated but it, I really like the fact that I'm working with something that I didn't create and I'm just translating it and with the drawings you know I decided that I'm, gonna, I'm only going to use number like 6H through 9H pencil and see what happens because I, I don't want to put my mark as, as an artist on it but sort of see how the process translates itself.